In this tutorial, I will demonstrate how you can use NC Live to access the sources you need for your class assignments. The best way to access NC Live will be to go onto the library's homepage and scroll down until you see the link for NC Live. Click on that link and the NC Live homepage should look like this. If you are conducting your research from home, you will have to log in with the NC Live password. Please call the library's front desk to get the password. It is also available on Blackboard. NC Live is a database in which you will find a variety of sources your instructor requires for your class assignments. These requirements include your articles, your ebooks, and sometimes your videos. NC Live also provides other sources for test prep, language learning, and also career development, like resume writing and interviewing tips. To conduct a basic search, use the search engine in the middle of the page. Here, I will use social media. Click on the search icon and let's see what NC Live yields. After you click search, you will see that your sources are already separated for you. You have your scholarly and academic articles in the first box, newspaper and magazine articles in the second, ebooks in the third, and videos in the fourth box. You will also see that journal titles, magazine titles, and newspaper titles are in the, in the fifth box, and then databases in the sixth. For the purposes of this tutorial, we are going to stick to the scholarly articles. Once you click on the scholarly articles box, you will see a page that looks like this. You have your scholarly article titles centered in the middle of your page. And then you'll see a credo reference article on the right side of your screen. Depending on your monitor size, this reference may appear at the top of your screen. Also, you will see related topics underneath the credo reference. The more important things on this page are your limiters, or what we call your filters. Make sure full text online is checked. You will already see that some are already defaulted to some limiters based on the college's parameters for research. So full text, Scholarly, which includes peer review articles because we are in the scholarly article box. The content type is journal article. Under publication date, this is when you look to your assignment rubric requirement in terms of what sources you can use and how old they can be. For example, some instructors do not want any sources older than five years. You can just click on the hyperlink and it will automatically update for you. If you keep scrolling down, you will see a subject terms filter. Click on more, and you will see a long, extensive list of subject terms. Here you can apply as many or as little subject terms you want to your general search. This will also help you narrow down your topic even more. If you want to discuss anything about social media, but you don't want to include animals in your search, exclude that item and then apply anything you exclude to your subject terms. It'll automatically update your search results. We went from 972,000 to now 328,000 results. Click on the title of an article. It'll appear in a new tab, and you will get a page that looks like this. You have your full text HTML document, and if you click on another tab, you have your full text PDF document. You can print this document and you can download it to save it to a flash drive. You also have your abstract and details page that includes other subject terms and a summary of an article. Your reference tab includes references that the author has used to write this research paper. So I'm going to click back onto the full text PDF 
and show you some other int interesting information regarding this page. If you look to the top right, you can download the full text PDF document. Your citation information is also available. Just click on the site icon and your site will appear. Make sure you choose the correct citation style. If you click on the drop down menu, you'll see a plethora of examples of citations that's available through NC Live. Always pick the latest edition according to your assignment rubric. You can email this document and you can print this document. If you click on all options, NC Live will give you a plethora of options to save this article. Every student at Fevel Tech has a Google Drive through their student email. Also, you'll see related items to the right of the screen that's related to this particular source. Just make sure if you're going to use any of these related items, make sure you are within the publication date parameters of your assignment rubric. Some of these are older than five years. Also, you'll see other subject terms dealing with this particular source. That will conclude this tutorial of NC Live's databases. Be sure to check out our other video tutorials for other databases. If you have any questions regarding any of the resources available through the library's homepage, feel free to contact us by phone, email, or coming to the library and our staff will be happy to assist you.